Life Practice Community. Lovely. Okay. So I'm going to invite you to pull up your journal. And just come into some deep breaths in and out. And then in your journal today, I'm going to steal a prompt or a page out of the book of someone who's in one of my yoga teacher trainings this morning. I don't think she's in this class. She was in the session with Dan earlier. But what we did in practice with her today is she said, make a list of three things in your life that bring you joy. Just three ordinary things. So I wanna invite you to take your journal and make a list of those things. For me, it was five. Let's take a few minutes to work on this and then we'll come together. What are we journaling? We're journaling. I just saw that, Kathy. We're journaling um, five things that bring us joy. Three or five things that bring us joy. I wandered. I went to get my journal and then I came back and was just looking out the window. I have to tell you, my I think my favorite thing about the Middle East is Middle East is full of skyscrapers, like really tall buildings. So I'm on the 19th floor right now, my friend's apartment, which I love. Um, and we really sad when he leaves here. He, he works for foreign affairs. So he's only in a placement for like two years. So he's only going to be in Dubai for one more year, which is sad. But anyway, um, what I love about this part of the world is that you're constantly viewing things from overhead. And I want to show you, um, my view, cause I just started looking out the window. So this is the view. So there's like the sky train, which comes around and the pool and there's the highway over there and the airport is across the creek it's like five minute drive which is also really nice and the road and what I feel about when you're high above a city 
is that you get perspective on how tiny you are in like the grand scheme of things, but not in like a sad way, in a way that like, you know, a problem that is so big to you can feel like, oh my God, this is the end of the world. And then you look out at this city and you're like, there's a person in just taxi and there's a person at the pool and there's a person in that car and there's a whole bunch of people crossing that bridge and they all have their own problems too that I know nothing about and they know nothing about mine. And we're all just kind of living our lives with these problems, which are real problems, but um, it always gives me perspective that I'm tiny in the grand scheme of things. And then I go to Bali where there's nothing taller than three stories. <laughs> My best friend in Bali, Kadek, has never been all higher than the third story of a building. And that's different too. <laughs> Begin in the yang. Okay, so I'm gonna invite you to come into a comfortable shape now. I also learned something interesting. I was hanging out with people in the foreign affairs last night and they, they're they diplomats. So they work for two years in all these different locations. And I found out why there's all this like old furniture. Cause it's just like what the American service, like apparently everywhere you go, if you're a diplomat, you work around the world and you all have these like yellow mustard couches. Cause they've just like ordered these furniture for all the placements anyway. Okay. Cause I always wondered like, why is there such weird furniture in this? apartment that's why okay let's come to a comfortable shape like what am I even talking about place your hands on your heart <laughs> and then take some deep breaths in and out so the reason why I invited you to journal on gratitude is because we need to be in a space of feeling good in order to attract more goodness into our lives. So as you feel your heart beating and you connect to your breath, think of these things that bring you joy. These things that bring you joy are things that can almost be like the sun poking out in a rainy day to hold on to when things are feeling low. Take one more breath in. One more breath out. And then I wanna invite you to just lift the arms up towards the sky. And then bring your palms through heart center. And let's drop our right earlobe down towards our right shoulder and then take the right palm on the side of the skull. Just reading Aaron's comments. The sunsets in the Middle East are my favorite. Super light colors. I 100% agree. I lived in Amman before. I had no idea that you lived there, Aaron. We'll have to talk about this later. Visited Dubai, Abu Dhabi, and Doha. I had no idea. Let's talk about it. So stretching through the side of the neck. The sunsets are so incredible here. So I want to tell you why this gratitude prompt stuck with me today because I've been in this headspace of wondering if I made the right decision moving to Bali and it's not because I don't love Bali because my personal life is so amazing in Bali but I feel a bit like my, my professional life really accelerates every time I'm in Dubai. I got a lot of momentum and confidence and opportunities. And so I had a phone call with Dan on Thursday night where I was telling him, you know, what am I doing <laughs> living in Bali? Lift our head all the way up, lay on the right palm, and then drop the left ear lobe down towards the left shoulder, lay on the left palm on the side of the skull. So I went to write my joy list today. And number one is Starbucks. Starbucks brings me joy. 
And if you've known me for a long time, you'll know that this is a big deal for me because I have a lot of Starbucks shame, a lot of shame around having a Starbucks addiction. Today I went to Starbucks and I had fruit and coffee. And I was having coffee when I was writing this. And I thought about, you know, as long as I'm being mindful of what I'm consuming and it's making me feel good, then it's something that I should just enjoy and stop having shame around. Kick our head all the way up. And then we're gonna drop the chin and then do some little circles. And now the next four things on my gratitude list. So number two was spending time with my cat. Cuddling with her brings me joy. Number three was riding my motorbike down the road in Bali. Number four was going to the yoga barn, which is in Bali. And then number five was I love my work, which is what I do in Bali. Let's bring our head all the way up. And we're gonna open up our hips a little bit. So um, we're gonna start by doing a little bit of a quad stretch. And what I'm gonna do is just show you, I'm gonna come onto my belly and land both of my elbows and then take my right palm and just push down onto my foot. This is gonna stretch through the quad. So anyway, the reason why I tell you this is because I was feeling a bit like, ugh, I don't know if I made the right decision in moving to Bali because I've had a bunch of opportunities come up for myself in Dubai like I'm I'm actually going to be on two radio shows this week and then I realized that every single thing on my list is about Bali here right spending time with my cat in Bali riding my motorbike in Bali going to the yoga barn in Bali doing my work in Bali And so I think that is a sign, right? Is when we feel so strongly about a place that it's constantly coming up on our gratitude, then that's a sign of where we belong, where we're meant to be. Let's release the left foot, release the left elbow, and then come the other way, pushing the right foot back. So I think that sometimes logically we're feeling like one place is where we belong. We have to listen closely to what our heart is telling us. Right, that will lead the way and, and it doesn't have to be one or the other. That include both, can include multiple places. Take one more breath and then just release the right foot and then land the elbow, just coming into a sphinx pose, opening through the heart. And then if you want to, you might place your palms down onto the earth and lift your heart up, coming into the full sphinx.
and then lower all the way down, lay on the palms, just rest a cheek. Lift the feet up, rock the feet from side to side. And then land the feet. We're gonna push through the palms to come all the way up. And then just tuck the toes. Put the hips back on the heels. I'm not in the waiting room. Oh, Michelle. Awesome. So with the toes tucked and the heels sitting back, the, uh, what are these things? The hips sitting on the heels. If it's comfortable for you, if it's not comfortable for you, you can also be like this. You can place a block underneath your bottom. And then let's open up our arms. We're gonna do some uh, shoulder opening at the same time. So take the right arm underneath the left, high five the hands. Just do a few breaths. And then we're gonna open our arms and go the opposite way, tucking the left arm underneath the right, settling the gaze, taking a few deep breaths in and out. Just unwind the arms, lift up. Let's pedal out the feet. Nice. And then from here, we're gonna sit all the way back. And then come into a seated shape. And take the left shin, lay it across the width of the mat and then cross the right heel on top. So this is called fire log pose. Agni Shambhasana, I think. <laughs> and this is gonna be a double pigeon stretch through the hips. So if this feels like it's not suitable, you can also just go like this. Amazing. Okay, let's lengthen up through our heart and then walk our hands forward, hinging forward. So it's important to get into this energy space of feeling good. Because the reality is that our thoughts create our reality. So I said to Dan the other day that I feel like, I said to him, I feel like I'm important and I'm someone in, in Dubai and Abu Dhabi and I don't feel that way about myself in Bali. And he made a really good point, which is that I've created this community in Abu Dhabi and Dubai that I have not taken the time to cultivate in Bali, right? And then I come into this headspace of like, I don't matter in Bali. I'm not as big of a deal in Bali. But the reality is when we're putting that vibration out into the world, that's when we're gonna receive, right? So when I land in Dubai and I have this vibration of like, I matter here, that's what I'm going to receive from the world here, right? So how do the thoughts that you have create the reality you're manifesting?
So we have three manifestation rules that I like to share. And the first is desire. But you have to know what you want and you have to want it so badly that you see any path that you need to take to get there. Knowing exactly what you're manifesting is really important. And the more details you can add, the better. You write down your goals, you set an exact day and time that it will be accomplished. When you set an exact date as to when your goals will be met and write it down, the order is given to the subconscious mind and it's taking action. So just take a moment to think about your dreams and aspirations, seeing as many details as possible. couple more breaths. And then we're going to lift all the way up. Lay on the feet. Just rock the knees. And then go the opposite way. So dedication is the second ingredient in manifestation. And only you can put in the effort to take steps towards your dreams, to network with others, to motivate yourself. So you have to dedicate time every single day to do something that takes you closer to gaining what you seek. Only you can do this. No one else can be dedicated for you. The last ingredient for manifestation is trust. And this is the easiest part because you just let go. And you trust. You let go of thinking too hard about the things you have to do to bring it all together. You have confidence that things fall into place. You have to know with certainty that your goal is attainable, so have faith. Just take a few moments to trust in your desires becoming a reality. Notice how you're feeling right now. Okay, let's remain here for a couple more breaths. And then just come all the way up. Lay on the feet. Rock the knees from side to side. We're gonna do one more hip opening shape. So we're gonna bring our soles of feet together and lengthen up through the spine and just come all the way forward.
take one more round of breath where we are. And you're gonna roll all the way up. Just coming into a seated shape. And then I'm gonna invite you to stretch all the way out into your supported rasping pose. Making your way into your Shavasana, grabbing hold of your head bones. This is Nigo. This is Gabe's cat. He's so big. This is the first time I've ever picked him up. <laughs> I like to think of him as my cat's boyfriend. <laughs> but they, they actually, we, we introduced them together and they didn't really get along that well. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna pass this over to Khaled. <laughs> Thank you so much, Alex. Thank you so much. So good to see everyone here, including Dan. That was such a beautiful surprise. With three beautiful cards, it resonates so much. Let's start as we talked about, as Dan said, we are the universe. So let's do today. We're gonna do a hypnotic meditation, focusing on self-love, self-care. Um, make sure you're in very comfortable position. Mm -hmm. If you can lay down, that's amazing. If you can lean against the wall, that's also good. Uh, make sure you have your headset. I'm gonna put this music at the background. The music today is going to be a bit deeper I change the frequency so in case if you fall asleep or you feel like you want to continue napping or sleeping after the session please go ahead you don't need to check out with us you don't need to say bye shut the computer off when directly and continue resting Here we go, perfect. While you're resting down, then I would like you to take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. knowing that you're completely in a safe and peaceful place. Take a deep breath in one more time. And out. In this self-love hypnotic meditation, Give yourself permission to focus on you. Making yourself your first priority. Because there is nowhere else you need to be and there is nothing else you need to be doing right now. Except giving yourself this time for your own care, for your own well being, for the self love. So continue breathing, allowing each inhale to be a bit deeper than the one before. Feeling your lungs getting expanded as you inhale. 
and feeling everything contract back as you exhale. Beautiful. Let's go to the three rounds of deep breathing before we start. Let's do that together. So inhale, take it all in. Hold it for a bit. Hold it on the top, reach the stillness, and exhale. Beautiful. Second time, inhale. Hold it on the top of the stillness. you to repeat this following sentence in your mind or whispering to yourself silently three times every day in every way I'm doing better and better go ahead you to see yourself standing at the top of a beautiful stairs and from top as you look down you can see your soft comfortable bed or surface waiting for you in order to lay down on it. And as I start counting down, see yourself walking down the stairs, step by step. And with every step, as you walk down, Your mind, your body will go deeper and deeper into a beautiful relaxation state. And at the count of zero, you will reach the bottom of the stairs and you will lie down on that bed, comfortable, beautiful, fluffy bed, or the surface. feeling totally and deeply relaxed. And taking this time to take care of yourself today. So let's start walking now, step by step. 10, nine, down and you're going deeper and deeper into your relaxation. Eight. Seven. Six. Deeper and deeper. Five. Beautiful. 
beautiful feeling of a complete relaxation. Three. Two. surface on that bed and be completely and totally relaxed. While laying down there, I would like you to pay attention to your breathing rhythm. Make sure anchor your breathing whenever you want to put your attentions inwards. I would like you to turn your attention to the bottom half of your body. Everything from your hips all the way down to the tips of your toes. Breathing into them. Noticing any discomfort, tension or even any judgments that come up about any of these areas. We all have that part of our body, part of our feelings that we wish we were feeling different into them. We wish that they were less intense, with less tension. So instead of judging them, or creating a story behind them, turn your focus to sending love and appreciation into these areas from your hips all the way down to the tips of your toes. Shifting your focus to your upper body. From your stomach to the crown of your beautiful head. Feeling into these areas, noticing any tension tightness, or even judgment you may be having. Breathing slowly into those areas to help them release. With every breath in and out, into those areas, your upper body. Your body is feeling heavy and relaxed now. So relaxed, so heavy, that you're in total peace right now. That you notice that your body doesn't feel like it is there anymore. beautiful state 
of a self-love and a complete relaxation. While doing this, noticing any judgment that may come up in any area of your body and gently replacing those judgments, those tightness, tension with love, with acknowledgement and some appreciation. I'd like you to imagine that you're breathing light into them and breathing out light. A beautiful state of a total relaxation. Feeling wonderful. Begin to call to mind any other areas of yourself, any thought pattern or a belief system that you have held on a judgment in the past, any behavior that you might have exhibited. Maybe it was a choice you made or something you say that you wish that you could have taken it back or done it in a different way. Maybe a time that you felt you could have handled something differently or even better. Look at it from a place of a total curiosity. And watch or observe any feeling, any emotions that come up. Because it will. Watch the stories you have told yourself about those situations. Because they will. And then gently let them go by acknowledging them without any judgment and, and giving them some love and appreciation. And maybe forgiveness, knowing that you're doing the best that you could now and at that time. And now as we move into the silent part of this meditation, continue this journey on your own. calling to mind any parts of yourself, any parts of your past that you hold on judgment, stories, or even pain, and giving them some unconditional love, acceptance, and forgiveness.
in a moment. I'm going to count up from one to five. With every count, bringing back your awareness slowly into your body, inside the room that you're in. And on the count of five, at your own pace, open your eyes or feel free to continue this resting by your own. One, knowing that you are completely refreshed and renewed. Two, assuring to yourself that self-love wins, that we are the universe. Three, Four, start moving your body, moving your fingers, your toes, bring back your awareness to your body and in this room and five, either open your eyes or continue enjoying this rest.